viewers. I'm in the person of Charity Justice Queen, a student from Asanta NMTC, and I'm here to give a summary on Otitis Media. When we say Otitis Media, it is an infection of the middle ear, and it is classified in two main courses. We have the acute otitis media and the chronic otitis media. With the acute otitis media, it is the acute infection of the middle ear which lasts for six weeks. There are some bacteria that causes the acute otitis media. We have the streptococcus pneumonia and the hemophilus influenza. They are the bacteria that cause the acute otitis media. There are some common causes of acute otitis media. We have common cold, whipping cough, sinusitis, acute tonsillitis, and then we have the trauma to the tympanic membrane. There are size, some signs and symptoms of acute otitis media. We have deafness. We have fever and then we have hearing loss. They are the signs and symptoms of acute otitis media. We are moving on to the chronic otitis media. With the chronic otitis media, it is the repeated episode of the acute otitis media. There are some predisposing factors of chronic otitis media. We have untreated acute otitis media and then we have inappropriate antibiotic therapy. They are the previous causing factor of chronic otitis media. There are some signs and symptoms of chronic otitis media. We have earache, hearing impairments and then deafness. They are the signs and symptoms of chronic otitis media. We went on talking about the treatment of this otitis media. With the treatment, we have antibiotic use. With the antibiotics, it is given to treat infections. And then analgesics. Analgesics are also there to relieve pain. And then we have installation of eardrop. They are the medical treatment of otitis media. We have a diagnostic investigation. With a diagnostic investigation, we are talking about orthoscopic examination. The orthoscopic examination is a diagnostic investigation of otitis media. We went on talking about the complications of this otitis media. With the complications, we have permanent hearing loss. We have vertigo and then we have abscess. They are the complications of otitis media. And we have some education and preventive measures of otitis media. With the prevention and education, we should encourage children to take in healthy foods, such as fruits and vegetables. And also, we should remind children to wash hands regularly in order to prevent the infection of otitis media. Thank you.